What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and I am still live. Thank you. Welcome to the new What's Up in the Sky uh, humble abode here, my new room where I'm going to be doing my videos from, doing my sleeping and all that good stuff, bringing you guys all the good information I possibly can, anomalies, space news, and this one's pretty cool. I didn't get anything else out about this flare the other day and I'm locally, I live down the street from Wallops, so they had to cancel the actual uh, space station delivery. Um, from Wallops because of this flare. It was a, a strong earth-facing coronal mass ejection occurred Tuesday, which set the stage for tonight. Now, this might be pretty cool, I'll tell you what. And now there's probably only a 15% chance, I think, looking at the uh, actual space weather that, uh, that these might these might get down this far. But if you're in the United States and Europe, places in Europe, and if you just go, you know, search Aurora Borealis in the news section of Google right now, wherever you are, you're going to find it. Um, exactly what's good and what's not for viewing. But look at this map. Look how far the Aurora Borealis is gonna come, might come down. I mean, we might see it in New York. I'm, I'm down here right on the not visible thing. Um, so not sure if I'm going to be able to see it or not. I'm just going to go check it out this morning anyway. It's going to be from tonight, Wednesday, into tomorrow, Thursday morning. Uh, let's see if I can find anything else about it right here. I, I checked this article out. There's so many articles about it out there now. Um, but anywhere in Pennsylvania, up north, you know, it might be worth getting up. I think they said any time between 3 a.m. was a good time to get up. There was a couple ones, uh, like I said, if you go, this is just some of the, uh, look at all these articles right now on there. This one's talking about Colorado. See, oh, as far as Colorado might see them. Um, let's see, let's see if they give us a good time. No, it's not marijuana kicking in in rare natural spectacle. Be glowing in the sky, Colorado sky. That's a pretty good pun there. In chance occurrence, the shimmering northern lights will be pushed south into the Rocky Mountains and maybe even further. A federal space forecaster says with a space weather prediction. This is very rare, and it is rare, so it's worth going out and trying to figure it out. And uh, they said it says to be patient um, around for viewing times and updates. Here we go, space weather prediction center. So I guess this is where you can fuck. Okay, here we go. The ongoing radiation storm has intensified. Wow, here we go. Proton should stay in the same approximate level for the next few hours and take another jump. Now, yeah, about 4 a.m., that's what it's saying. About 3 to 4 a.m., you should go out there and take a look at it. Aurora Watcher should be ready from uh, January. Okay, from January 9th and 10th, they should be ready at about 4 a.m. If you want to go outside, expect it to occur. Um, We'll see if you go, it's 0900 UTC, so that's uh, 4 a.m. on Eastern Standard Time. So you figure it out from where you are. I know Europe's going to get it. Like I said, if you just go search the internet for it now, um, here's a little story about how it actually delayed the the shipment that's going up from Wallops, which is right down the street here, over to it. A huge solar flare unleashed by the sun has delayed by 24 hours today. And uh, let's see. Once again, I got on the internet today, and there was all the doom and gloom people out there talking, you know, we're going to lose power. It, come on. These day, if anything, it's just going to be a beautiful show. Enjoy it. I hope you guys wake up. If you're in that viewing thing, and if you want to see anything, I mean, it might, not, it might not come. You know what I mean? Like I said, some people are saying there's a 15% chance. That's not great, but if you're never going to get to Alaska, you're never going to get up north in your life it, it, that you know of Canada, that where you might see these lights, it's probably worth waking up and going to check. I mean, if you just search some of the beautiful uh, the pictures of the Aurora Borealis, you I mean, look at that. I mean, imagine just seeing that up in the sky. So anyway, as you can see, I'm in my new room. I've got it all taken care of. Just wanted to give you guys a little update on it. Maybe I'll show you around a little bit. So I had a living room, and I've been cooped up in And I don't have everything out here, and not everything's finished yet. Um, I've been cooped up in that little room for a long time. So I decided to turn the living room that I don't use into a bedroom. And uh, you see I got my nice... Oh, You've got everything here. I got all my computer. Sorry, guys, making you sick. I got my computer screens, all that good stuff here. I've got my projector screen up here, which is rocking and rolling. I added it up. Just put the shelf up there with it for right now. I'm getting things all worked out. I tell you what, I have so I'm an IT director, so I basically sit at a computer all day and look at these all day long. Don't really do much. Oh, I, I tell you what, in the Planet Fitness I've been going to for the last month didn't do anything to get me ready for building a wall. I built it from scratch. Um, I tell you what, for you contractors out there, I've got mad respect for you guys. You do a lot of hard work every day, day in and day out. And uh, 
I tell you, I couldn't do it. I must say, I'm such a wussy when it comes to it. Every bone in my body hurts. Every uh, <laughs> every muscle that I never even knew that I got muscles hurt and not even know had. So, but anyway, I'm excited. I'm excited to bring you guys some new Mars anomalies, Moon anomalies. I'm looking to take some suggestions on what else. I was thinking about doing a, a Curiosity Weekly, maybe uh, what's Curiosity doing, where it's going, plotting it out. Now that I have a little bit of space. I was going to take the wall over there and uh, blow up my one picture I have of the actual the space that it's in right now, and the Gale Crater, and, ha- and mark it as it goes by. Um, other things, like I said, I was thinking about maybe doing some interviews with some of the people that that are, you know, just researchers like me that are out doing it. A lot of my my anomalies I find, it's not me finding them. And like I tell you, I go out and just, I'm trying to find every, I'm trying to like put in one place every anomaly that anybody's ever found. And that makes some people mad because I'm making videos about other people's that they've found. And some, I always try and give credit. Sometimes I don't know who did it. So if I don't give credit, you know, just leave a message in the thing, comments. And I always credit the person up at the top and I'm looking to turn you know I, at first my website I was putting a whole bunch of uh, different you know videos on there from different people it just got to the point where it was a little bit much but now I'm gonna have a little bit more time I'm gonna try and work on it definitely want to get get everything rock and roll 2014 I just want to get this uh, channel blown up I'm almost up to let's see let, let's take a quick look here at at the uh I know when this is going to go to one of my videos. That's some of my stats now because I tell you what, you guys, I just can't believe when it when it starts coming in how fast they how fast they actually start rolling in. So let's take a quick look here at my stats. Um, so I'm up to three million three hundred thousand views, and I'm almost about to go to seven thousand subscribers. I'm thinking I'm going to do a ten thousand subscriber giveaway. I want to do something because you guys, I said I have an AdSense page. You guys look at the ads. Hopefully, if you are actually looking at something you want, you click on it. Um, and use it just because you're helping me. You know, if you don't want it, don't click on it. Don't ever do that. You know, you're not helping people if you do that. But if you're watching somebody's video, and uh, I know the ads are pain in the ass, but if you really like the guy, if you really want what they're talking about, if you want more information about it, click on it. You know, especially if it's for somebody that you really like their channel, because a lot of work goes into making these videos, believe it or not. Especially the people who do the, the all the graphics and stuff like that when i made this top mars and anomalies video i really put a lot of work into it and like i said it's only got 1500 views go figure it's crazy how something like that can have 1500 views but when i have something you know like this let's see video manager and this is i guess just how it works it's like everything that i never would have expected to blow up actually does like look at some of the numbers on some of these let's see the, of course, the Antarctica video, 1.7 million on that one. That just rolled over. The WW1 helmet, that was thanks to all the Bra- the Brazilian website and all the Southern South American uh, uh, people that ran it. There were so many. Uh, uh, I mean, it hit and it went viral. That all happened, and 300,000 of those were in like a weekend. So, And then they've slowly kept going up. Um, and then that was the old NASA, the hoax we got by uh, the, I forget the guy's name now, thank God, the Purple Ninja or whatever. But then you get funny, the Frozen Woman one's going up now, the Martian Animal, Egyptian Statue, the uh, Moving Mars Life. And, it's, and I never would imagine which ones would do it. So it, basically, it's funny because some of them are hokey. Like the one that's blowing up now, the Frozen Woman, that was one I wrapped in the <laughs> beginning of it. you know. And so people call them, it's like I, I actually have to turn... It's sad that I had to do this, but this video right here gets so much hate, and this one right here, I actually make it so I have to approve the comments, just because I don't want kids coming on here and seeing stuff. You know, a lot of kids get on here are interested in space. You know, I've got a lot of subscribers that are under 18, um, and I want to make it an environment where there's not cursing, there's not people, the trolls aren't being rude and disgusting with people, but... Either way, let me get back to this. I got some other videos I want to make tonight with the uh, with the Mars and a couple moon ones that I've got some neat stuff. So I want to show you this one more time, the map for the United States. Get out there tonight. It's Wednesday, and I want you to go out at 4 a.m. and see if you can see it. If you're up, if you're not up, don't worry about it. But if you're watching my video, you probably care about this stuff, you know. So it might be a good chance to see it. Canada, it looks like you've got a really good chance of seeing it in certain places. Um, so anyway, what's up in the sky? This is Will. What's up in the sky? 37. What's up in the sky? dot com. Good to see you guys. I said it's been a while, and I'm uh, happy to be in my new room. Happy to be sending you guys videos, and excited to go uh, move on into 2014. Peace.